we get our first Kazuya Mishima tonight against the Snake. Jab Rock and Kazuya. We're going, we're going to see a season high plays in this now. Man, I'm into this. I'm big into this. Well, Bogey Rock and the Snake. I can start off with the uh, the expected answer. People have been saying about this character that we've got camp him out here. Hopefully, we want to see grenades uh, and uh, demon lasers the entire time of this match and not. But we'll see what the uh, calculated approach is here. He's going to make it back from here. He is. Take a hit and do nothing here. One of the electric there, I like it. So he's gonna be at the mortar. Death attack after the down throw. Rage is active. See if Gumboki can get off of him in time. And that's still not gonna do it just yet. Oh, there it is, the rage drive. Wow! What percent was he at? That was crazy. I guess not unexpected though. But the quick up tilt there from Mumbo, he's gonna take it there for Jeb. Oh, he's talking with the C4 thing. Well, that's what it was. Side smash there. Mumbo, well, doing a lot of the, uh, with the 10 hit combo there. Maybe just the, uh, the quick mission of 1 1 2. Down smash the leg? No? Jeb going to be a little more patient with it. Raging and active. Seeking the void in the Kija. Wow, Tyler roll behind, but the uh, hitbox on the, on the uh, RPG is going to do it. Four throw, ledge. Four throw. Sorry, up throw. No, that was four throw. That's the first time. So it was down throw, excuse me. Because we are still very new to try and figure out. Up throw. Looking for the snipe here. He's blown up by his own C4, unfortunately. It's not gonna kill him once it's gay. I think it's pretty heavy though, but I imagine it would be kinda tough for Kazuya. But that's not gonna kill though. We are last out, we are last out situation. We kind of got a uh, uh, controlled approach there. Although we seem very much majority at the moment here. But Kazuya now with rage though, off stage here and Nikita coming at him. Can he get around it? Ah, they sit by Nikita and gets back to stage to the down throw and up to the fourth throw. Nikita. Oh no, it's just too, it's just too low for Jeb there, unfortunately. Mombogi's gonna take game one. I wonder if he'll stick with the Nikita for, uh, for game two here. But to answer your question earlier, Willow, uh, I mostly come to this to commentate. My skill as a player is non existent, to put it lightly. But I've had a lot of good time coming out here and just, you know, meeting a lot of the players here and just. I have a good time, you know. I think we'll do this more about. And Jeb will swap to the Roy if we're getting the Kazuya. You know, maybe, maybe not this, maybe not this match, you know, or for this match up here. We'll see what doesn't he can make for Roy if we go back to, uh, you know, if we switch to, uh, with the small battlefield here for game number two. So far, starting up a little bit better than he did previously. Double edged, uh, dance to the ledge here. The little drone always kind of makes a hard time to uh, edge guard snake. Just do worry about the hitbox that it prevents sometimes. So you sit by the grenade into the drone. How's that for a true combo? I just, I just. But Jeb right now, it's a harassing bomb bogey here. I'll have to wait for the, uh, the get up attack there if, uh, from my bogey. I want to answer about maybe three, four, three. Not gonna kill just yet here, but we are a little more, a little more high octane, I guess, than we were uh, previously. That's gonna kill up for sure. And Jeb gonna take stop one right there. See what Bobby does to adjust and to try and uh, try to bring this back. Double end dance low. Takes the grenade and just runs through with the forward throw. Ooh, be looking for a, some little fancy there on the edge here. So we can make it back from this. Blazer gets through the Nikita, but on the jump from ledge, gets hit by it on the end. And Von Bogey's gonna take it with another Nikita shot. How's that for a, a bit of a mix up there? Wow, right after the charge, uh, Flare Blitz, uh, sorry, but Flare Blitz just immediately goes to the up smash here. And that kill? 
I guess. It seems the eye from Odogi on that stock. But they're right now looking to turn this around completely here. Tilt, throw, up air. Always got to play a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more aggressively here. Maybe a help fall the double dance there. Looking for the whole dance there, just really looking for it. That's attack. Nikita again. Blazer gets through with his little bits of armor here. Uh oh. Great place to take. Wow! Caught him with the with a C with a quick C4 there from Bombogi. Not out of this yet. Sour spot on the uh, the back area there. Oh, but that is gonna catch to get up a stack there. Catch him with hits two and three of the double edge dance and uh and Jeff's gonna take game two here. Yeah, it's 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 certainly been a hot minute, and I guess Bombogi wanted to try to uh I guess to your point with like, using using the key to somebody so to try to uh you know kinda keep Jeb at bay, you know. We all know Roy his whole point is to get in, right? Get in close, get you close to that sweet spot, you know, and then, you know, nair, uh, forward tilt, F tilt, you know, going to smash with here, anything close to Mombogi here. I guess these are the characters who can both kill relatively early at the ledge, you know? Someone like with mortars, you know, an RPG, C4, and then we all know, we'll see what Roy can do with his dance and his, uh, some of the smash attacks, you know? So we'll see what happens here for this pivotal game three. Catch the spot dodge, the last hits of the down double edge. Goes forward again. Get a couple quick uh, damage since it's all racked up there. Catches them again, so third double edge dance has only been about 25 seconds. Wow, he's got out of that. The fall out of it, I think goes what hits what one and two or two and three. I like the use of, of the counter there on the uh, on the mortar there from Jeb. Kind of stalls cover a little bit, but Bombogi able to capitalize although Jeb just immediately runs up up smash. I like the uh, right here with this right here with this game we saw right there. That's what I'm gonna go up in the back here. Of the you know shield dodge spot dodge tilt spot dodge shield fun little game of a uh, chess got the uh the roll and get up from ledge there with the, the mortar not going to the kill just yet that's way too low there for Jeb yeah and that's going unfortunate right there hey, Jeb is that like nothing that happened it's going right back at it. It's hit, by, it's hit by the drone there. Fortune is bought. Oh, wow. Can you make it back from that? Oh, let's get another jump or not. That's like that may be it right there. No, it, the little the little lord that could. But again, jumping from ledge to hit by the Nikita on the way back up. That's just that's nuts. What a sequence that was, though, from Jeb. Just fighting for his, literally for his life to get back on stage here. We got some kill sparks already there at the edge. Again, I'm not. I feel like the, the switch to Smash Bill is something that benefits both players now. We see who can maybe take advantage of these uh, smaller blast zones. Jab 1 and 2, not gonna kill just yet. Big spending the dash attack uh, at the ledge there from, uh, from Jeb. Who's now taking his time getting up from ledge, you know, knowing that uh, Lumbogi's looking kind of for the, uh, the neutral get up options, you know. Try the air dodge back to stays though, but a quick episode from Jeb's gonna take it here. Who at 139 can dodge just about anything, really. The Blue Armor Blazer are not gonna get through the MP this time, but does the second time we're asking. And air from ledge, though, that up tilt snake. It's quick, it's strong, it does it all for you. Now we are looking at uh, at last stop here. We'll see if any chance of the, uh, the C4 there as it blows up. And 
jab. <laughs> and the time is to close it out here. The mix up there on the timing for the uh, double edge dance there. Not throwing one bogey off there, drops a little too early here. Oh, he never really wanted to go off stage there. That's aggressive for him. But the mix up on the double edge dance here, and Jeb's gonna take the uh, get the reverse 2 0 there to move on to win round two. Or he will face NYP ends at the door. Going back to his old tag.